dear students and friends welcome back for this session on solidworks in 21 days we are in day 5 in today's session on day 5 solidworks we will see the exercise number 9 draw the solid model shown here also get the three different orthographic and isometric views as drawing so there are two parts actually so there are two files actually ex9 will be a part there are there is a part file in the name ex9 and there is in the same name will be getting and drawing the drawing file also okay so this is the drawing given to us okay let us see how to get it okay how to uh, develop uh, how to uh, make the model okay so i think it is perfectly fit uh, we'll go okay as usual open a new file open a new file part file and make it a background as a plain white uh, you have to start uh, the base first um, here the base you see it is a rectangular slab of size 60 150 the thickness 15 okay we will draw that first okay so after that slowly we will be adding some more uh, components actually suppose in this kind of a thing if some data is not given you please assume on your own okay the idea is a problem is given to you a problem is given to us we have to get the solution actually okay so what is the time system time now uh, 21 12 let us see how fast we will be making it okay you also cope with my speed the first we will draw the rectangle for that again one more point is uh, you have to choose the uh, reference plane will be selecting first so this is the asymmetric view no so uh, this rectangular slab is sitting on isometric top plane so that means let me start my drawing from the top plane then it is a center point rectangle escape what is the size 60 150 okay smart dimension 60 150 right 60 150 then what is the thickness the thickness is 15 mm, I think uh, here also we can put we can uh, put the four different holes there are four, four holes of diameter from one corner it is 20 away horizontally and 10 vertically I think we let us do, let us complete that also for that I will be drawing a center line because I want to I want to just draw once one uh, hole then using the mirror, mirror command I will be getting the three different uh, three more uh, remaining holes actually okay there is a mirror command in the feature there is a mirror command in the sketch this is the mirror command in the sketch sketch mirror for the for mirroring a sketch you need a line line of mirror for mirroring a feature you need a plane of mirror okay these are some parts of course so hold a 10 from corner 20 the horizontally 20 on x direction 10 on y direction okay we will complete that also so let me put uh, a circle its diameter is 10 horizontally 20 away and vertically 10 mm away so that is what we have you see horizontally 20 away vertically 10 away the diameter is 10 there are four holes now press and press and hold the control key 
and select these two the circle and the horizontal line go for mirror so mirror on this direction then press and hold control again select these two circles and this axis mirror so we obtain four holes okay now what is the th this is the thickness 15 mm is the thickness so by default it will be as 15 you make it uh, 10 you make it 15 so this is the isometric view this is the top view okay if you want to change the color the color changing the color here is uh, is for our for the look only okay i am saving it as uh, what is my file name exercise number 1 9 exercise 9 so ex 9 I will I will attach uh, this in the description okay you can download it by pressing the link now what else uh, we neck oh sorry so it, it is this way no mm, shall we change it okay because this isom in this isometric 150 is on the isometric right side here this 150 is isometric on the left side okay let me change that one no problem very easy instead of 60 you make it this 150 this as 150 and make this as 60 that's it and uh, one more thing is uh, here it should be 10 and this should be 20 that's all that's all exit from the sketch there is the matter now you see so this longer edge uh, is on the isometric right side so even here this longer edge uh, is on the isometric right side so everything is perfect now the next step is uh, let us say in a single shot we will we'll draw this one okay mm. here this the rib height is 55 but from this point the height of the center of this particular hole or this uh, bus is not given so i think uh, i have to assume on my own okay so the die is 40 no so that means uh, it should not be it cannot be it cannot be at uh, 40 by 220 it is still lesser lesser okay that is the idea so 10 mm okay now i am selecting this one already the center is here initially i'll be drawing a center line with respect to that center line let me draw a 40 dia and 25 dia circles a 40 dia and 20 dia 25 sorry let me check once again so 40 25 yes 40 25 okay now mm, turn this way turn that way right uh, 10 mm rib so let me see whether it comes or not uh, uh, it's uh, after selecting this uh, there is an offset command okay offset on both sides bidirectional so 10 mm left side 10 mm outside means total length is uh, uh, sorry 5 left side 5 outside 5 plus 5 10 yes of course yeah I got it then you see uh, click this one convert entities use convert entities. so now it here will be le you have learned one one more uh, uh, sketch command called offset entities okay then convert entities can the convert this get the projection of that one so now you see this again here you got the line on edge okay now i have to trim trim these portions this is very important 
Mm, I have to trim this also. Now, for my convenience, uh, let this be this radius be ten, uh, twenty. Sorry. Oh, it is driving a driven. Okay, this height is actually perfect. So this is this data is not given actually. Okay, I am assuming it as sixty three maybe. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so this profile is made. Then add uh, extruded bars up to surface. Up to surface. Select the surface. So it will be extruded up to that surface only. So this portion is made. This portion is made. Right? Save. Hmm. Then this rib, okay. Let me draw the rib on one side. After using the 3D mirror command, I can get it on the right side also. For that, uh, okay. So you see where my the front right plane is at the middle, right? So I am selecting the right plane. I am going for sketch. Now. Again, there is no particular about where it connects. Again, I have to assume on my own. Okay, so from here it touches somewhere. It can be tangent also, but it is. It seems it is not ta tangent actually here. Okay, so it is connecting somewhere, somewhere. That is not given. So I am assuming uh, on my own. But this point is ten mm away. This point is ten mm away. So this is ten mm away. Again, I have selected this edge. I am getting the projection of this with convert entities. Trim this unwanted extension. Then better, I have to get the convert entities. Let me open the convert entity dialog box. I am getting the projection. I am getting the projection of these two. So these two edges. So this extension I have to trim. Okay. So this, since there is no data given in the problem about uh, where it connects, I leave it as such. I leave it as such. Now you see extrude. Don't use the blind. Blind means it will go directly only on one side. But it should be equi-spaced. Phi this side, phi that side, because we have drawn the sketch centrally. So for that, use the mid plane. And what is the thickness? The thickness is 10 mm. The 10 mm. So use 10. That's it. We got it. Now use the mirror command. Uh, about the central plane, select this boss, go for mirror. Derange the matter. Save. Now you see, absolutely there is no difference between this and that. I think it is slightly higher. So what I can do is. Uh, Instead of sixty-three, let me make it uh, maybe seventy. Seventy-five. Because that net data is not given. Oh, I'm sorry. The data is already given, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Uh, this fifty five, right? Yeah, I only missed it. Fifty five. Yeah, 
you can see slightly it is touching okay anyway this data of course not given so we will we'll leave it as such we we'll leave it as such so we have obtained uh, this uh, this is the answer of course we got the answer i think we started at 22 25 3 minutes finished now to the next part in this uh, thing is uh, also get the three different orthographic and isometric view as drawings okay now for that let me keep this as the front view this is my view direction this is my view direction that means this is the front view maybe this is the left side view top view from the top okay mm. open a new file drawing file a3 size but without any dimension customized uh, sheet i am using press ok escape in model view go for model view already xs9 part file is open so go to next page set current view as a front view then hidden lines visible for uh, orthographic views hidden lines should be removed for the isometric so let me make it 1 is to 1 so for 1 is to 1 this uh, a3 size is not sufficient it seems uh, not uh, so this is uh, front view this is top view this is side view and this is isometric view maybe escape now actually this is in third angle projection that is why these two are these, these are hidden thing how to convert from third angle to first angle okay let me before that uh, let me remove the hidden edges in isometric especially uh, this is how it looks okay okay so now now it is in third and let me delete this one Mm. now how to convert uh, this uh, from third angle to first angle in the sheet go to sheet here press right click go to property now you see it is in third angle make it first angle press ok now you see it is changed now you see it is changed so now it is in first angle ok so let me check once again I think uh, let me delete this also this asymmetric also I'll, I'll get it separately now insert model views press ok all the dimensions will be copied there, here also all the dimensions are copied here also so if you make any changes here I already told you uh, both this is the drawing and control tab you can go to the part so this is the part file and this is the drawing file the dimensions uh, available both in the part and the drawing file both has the associativity property if at all if you make any changes here that will be reflected on to the part if you make any changes in the part that will be reflected on this drawing okay i'll save this as uh, xs number uh, 9 drawing file okay so let me see how to get the isometric also so it is an isometric view right again I am using the same command go to next mm, current view model yeah but of course this is a 1 is to 2 ratio maybe yeah, let me change that to 1 is to 1 that's it okay so this is how solidworks is a very user friendly software if you develop a model in no time you can get the drawing part of it okay so 
this be okay let me close uh, yeah we solve this problem if you want uh, i'll solve one more problem with your permission okay the same thing okay part file and drawing file different views uh, maybe this one okay suppose if at all if there is any data missing here also we'll make uh, suitable assumptions okay mm. there is a round hole part 55 hole dia 80 outer dia its thickness is 25 we'll start with that okay shall we see that okay with your permission let me close these two let me open a new file part file plain white mm. this is my front view right let me start with this plane right plane uh, 55 85 holes so 21 31 21 30 let it be okay 55 80 yeah 55 80 the thickness is 25 mm, let me use mid plane for extrusion for the bus bus extrude i'm using mid plane the value is 25 So this is over. Now we'll draw this part. Mm, this part is uh, centrally. I do not know whether uh, in this edge, this line, and this line are uh, equally angled, or this is horizontal. I think it seems this is horizontal. This is horizontal. Mm. But that center distance is 90. This angle aligned dimension is 90. Mm, uh, this is uh, 35. So 35 by 2. 35 by 2 is uh, 36 by 2 is 18. 17.5. Okay. So let me choose right plane again as my sketch plane the midpoint now i am drawing a line horizontally and vertically and uh, what i can do is i can use a property called tangency okay mm, i can i should get the convert entity convert this also now remove the unwanted extensions now you see okay so this height is this height is 35 but this dimension is the center distance between these two is 90 so that means let me mark a point on midpoint of uh, this particular one so that the distance between this and this is 90 okay of course this height is uh, 35 so let me make this as 35 this aligned dimension what is the value 90 90 this is horizontal this is vertical then why it is not uh, 
this tangent these two are vertical uh, yeah this relation is missing that is why it is underdefined it is underdefined you know this and this to be vertical then only this will be made as fully defined if you are able to understand make it otherwise leave it as as, a, as if uh, like uh, underdefined okay no problem so everything is perfect now what is the thickness 15 so extrude mid plane 15 that means 7.5 this side 7.5 that side that is over now I have to draw this one right mm, okay so let me use this plane normal to plane circle 35 and 20 already the side is 35 I will make this as a construction line from here it is 33 from here this distance is 33 then the whole dia is 20 I have to trim this one there ends the matter what is the thickness of this one 18 so extrude it is on the, this side change the direction this is a symbol for changing the directions that side actually what is the value the 18 so 18 control B fit to screen save as EX 10 so 31 we started 38 finished 7 minutes great so absolutely there is no difference between this and that ok mm so I will tell you how to get the drawing from it uh, I, I think I need not explain okay I will be straight away complete the problem without uh, giving much explanation current model view one is to one scale visible uh, this is my front view top view side view it is in uh, third angle projection so go to property first angle projection yeah so that's it inset model items so dimensions included then go to this one keep it asymmetric again you go for inset current model view 1 is to 1 hidden lines not visible isometric also done so 38 we started 42 minutes so this is my e exercise 10 ok so that's it so in today's uh, problem uh, pra thing we have drawn two different machine components maybe so first machine component file is exercise number 9 second component exercise number 10 okay hope you can uh, you, you, you understood uh, how I made it okay if you have any doubt 
again as I said earlier rewind the video and replay it okay as long as uh, you, you are able to understand you rewind and replay the video okay so uh, if we are in the lockdown period you all know that uh, whatever uh, with the facilities available with me so I am doing this uh, thing uh, for your benefits only for your better understanding only okay so if you like it give your positive comments then kindly pass on this message to our uh, colleagues and uh, student friends if you are a faculty tell it to your students right and your colleagues also the students you please uh, uh, pass on this message to your uh, classmates also or batchmates also the are your neighbors okay who needs uh, this kind of uh, solid works uh, learning okay thank you